Hello, dear students. Welcome, everybody. In this video, I'm going to talk about the course belongs to grade 11 compulsory English. Here, I'm going to talk about the nature of the course and what sort of units are here, how the course has been designed in this grade 11 new curriculum. Being based on this matter, I'm going to talk about this in this video. So watch the video till the end. And one more thing, don't forget to like, share and subscribe this. That always make you motivated to make such kind of video in the days to come. Now, let's start the course here. Well, the course has been divided into two sections. Section first, language development and section second about literature section there. In section first, language development, there are 20 units. And on the other side, about in section second, that is literature, it contains uh, lots of literary text about different literary genre, about the poems, history, essay, and one act play there. Uh, so first of all, let's discuss about the table of contents that belongs to language development here. Here, students have to learn about various language phenomenon, various language development contents here. The first unit is about education and humanity. Under this system, I have to learn about education first. And there is a use of vocabulary, the dictionary, use alphabetical order, and writing personal narratives there. And in grammar, I have to learn about old classes there. And there is a listening in conversation as well, and a speaking function, expressing good wishes, contract forms of verbs there. And project work is given there. In the same way, second unit is about communication there. There is a free writing and position of adverbs and paragraph writing there. And in the unit third is about media and society. There is students have to learn about social media, its influence and control over people's lives. And there is students have to learn about professional verbs, paragraph writing, professional direction, television program there. And unit four is about history and culture. There is students have to learn about uh, that is Qin Dynasty, uh, about that is history, history uh, limbric and e email table interpretation. Students have to learn this. And similarly, in Unit 5, students have to learn about life and love. There is a, the looking glass, one interesting story there. Uh, there, students have to learn about old formation, writing paragraph. And in grammar, there will be will and be going to there. And Unit 6 is about health and exercise there. And there, students have to learn about you may scoff and suffixes, silent, paragraph writing, essay instruction there, students have to learn there in Unit 6. And unit seven is about ecology and development. There is student have to learn about forester with our diplomize their prefix and personal letters. Student have to learn. Then unit eight is about humor and satire. There is student have to learn a few kind of words for superstition and derivation, collocation with Bob's their argumented essay. Student have to learn this thing in unit eight. Uh, similarly, unit nine is about democracy and human rights. There is student have to learn about Nelson Mandela's 1994 inauguration speech there. And unit 10 is about home life and family relationship, the tatter blanket. I still have to learn this. And it's, unit 11 is about arts and creation. There is still have to learn why is the Renaissance important there. And then unit 12 is about fantasy. There is still have to learn about down the uh, rabbit hole. There are consonants, uh, narrating events. I still have to learn this. And unit 13, 13 is about career and entrepreneurship. Uh, career and entrepreneurship that is about Mahavir Pung, a uh, visionary social entrepreneur there. Uh, then unit 14 is about power and politics there. Uh, there is student have to learn about Napoleon Bonaparte, a compound noun phrase there, paragraph essay. Student have to learn this. And uh, unit 15 is about war and peace there. And unit 16 is about critical uh, thinking in war and peace. Student have to learn about shall there be peace and essay. And student have to learn very interesting thing there in that unit. Uh, unit 16 is about critical thinking, what is the soul, and their critical writing to the student have to learn this. And unit 17 is about globalization and diaspora. Uh, what lost identity, the diaspora globalization deal, the student learn this thing there in unit 17. Uh, then unit 18 is about immigration and identity deal, their identity crisis in immigrants. There is a book review there. Our um, phone system learn our book, our film review there. And unit 19 is about travel and tourism. Uh, there is student have to learn about discovering West Nepal, the wild fun tire there. A uh, travel guess is to have to learn this and there in grammar, a voice there. And unit 20 is about science and technology there. There is student have to learn about taking my son to 
college where technology has replaced uh, screen PDD, screen DPT. So, student have to learn very interesting fact about science and technology there in unit 20. So, that is all about the section first that belongs to language development uh, in this course compulsory. In well, now, the language development section first after section second is about literature section there. Uh, so, under this literature section, students have to learn various types of literary text under different literary genre, that is short story, poems, essay, and one-act play. Uh, some short stories are here in unit one, uh, under section second literature. Uh, unit one is short story, here students have to learn about, um, that is the self is giant by Oscar Wilde, very interesting uh, child-based story there. And next one is the overlord portrait by Edgar Allan Poe, very interesting uh, mysterious story there. And next uh, third one is God Sees the Truth But Words by Leo Tolstoy. Very interesting study by Leo Tolstoy, one of the very famous writer in English literature. Uh, next one is uh, fourth number story is The Wish by Roald Dahl. And then uh, fifth number story is Civil Peace by Sinwa Achiwe. And sixth number story is uh, Two Little Soldiers by Guy de Maupassant. And uh, seventh story, number story is An Astrologer's Day by R.K. Narayan. All together, seven story stories is turned out to learn. These history are very interesting to learn there. After this unit, second is about poems there. Uh, the poems, uh, the first poem is Corona Says by Vishnu Singh Rai, E.S. Rai. And the second poem is uh, Red Rose by Robert Burns. And then third one is All the Old Soy Stays by William Shakespeare. Very interesting poem, All the Old Soy Stays. And then four number is Who Are It Little I by E.E. Cummings. Number four poem and last poem, five poem is Fifth number poem is the gift, the gift in wartime by Trang Mong Tu. So altogether seven stories and five poems is to learn. Uh, then unit third is about essay there. Under the essay is to learn the first essay is sharing tradition by Frank Lapena, and second essay is how to live before you die by Steve Jobs. Very interesting speech, very interesting lesson by Steve Jobs there. And next uh, one third one is what I recall from life by J B S Halden. Uh, then fourth number essay is What is Poverty by Joe Gooden Parker there. And fifth number essay is Scientific Research is a Token of Woman, Womankind's Survival by Vladimir Kelly's Brook. Very interesting essays are there. So here, students student have to learn seven, sorry, five essays there. Then unit four is about one act plays there. The student have to learn three types of one act plays here. The first one is Trifles by Susan Glasspell. And then second one actually is a Sunday morning by uh, Sorfian and, and Paul Quinn, Avalis Quintero. And then third one is Refund by Chris Carinthi. So now here under the uh, second section literature, we still have to learn the seven stories, uh, then five poems, five essays, and three poems. That is all about this course in detail here uh, for the especially regarding the content here, you still have to go through one language development, 20 units there, and another one is a literature section that contains uh, the stories and poems, essay and one at play. And now let's discuss about its evaluation system, how the course has been evaluated under the formative evaluation and summative evaluation. Let's discuss about this. Well, the subject code for this subject is English uh, 003 deal. And there is evaluation system. We'll discuss about uh, especially their internal evaluation and external evaluation under the formative and submative evaluation. Uh, under this internal evaluation, the internal evaluation covers 25 marks here. The allocation of the marks is as follow given here, how the marks are categorized here for the internal evaluation. Uh, from the participation stand, we'll get three marks there and listening test six marks and speaking text 10 marks. In score from terminal exams, that is six marks and total marks will be 25 for the internal evaluation. In the first session of internal evaluation, 25 marks will be practical aspect. And then next uh, one is external evaluation. Under the external evaluation, uh, here uh, 75 marks will be the external evaluation. The external evaluation carries 75 marks. The allocation of marks for each language skill and aspect is given below here. A language skill and aspect from the reading, 35 marks will be there. Uh, writing 25 marks, grammar 10 marks, vocabulary 5 marks, total marks 75. In this way, uh, the marks have been categorized under this external evaluation and then internal evaluation. Now, I like to uh, show you one model question 
for this paper that belongs to grade 11 compulsory english book one model well i'm going to talk here about the model question uh, that best one a compulsory english of grade 11 new curriculum year uh, here the time will be three hours and marks full marks will be 75 marks first question will be the passage there is to not have to go through the passage read the passage and do question answer there uh, after reading the passage, uh, there is a question, uh, that is the question will be, uh, that is a multiple choice question. Option will be given there, you should have to take the answer by reading the passage there. Uh, A will be five marks there. Uh, then next one will be complete the flying words in not more than four words there. Uh, that is a uh, five marks there. And next one is answer the flying question. Uh, that is based on the passage there. Uh, and next one is the right short answer to the flying question. Uh, that is, uh, this these questions are from the books there. That is, uh, what why does Wasserkopf this question is from refund there? Uh, here, some hints will be given from which lesson this question has been asked. Assistant, some guidelines. The lesson, the name of the lesson will be given in the bracket so that student can identify the question that belongs to which lesson there. Uh, so that is the short answer there. And long answer question that is also from the literary text from the literature section. Uh, then there is a free composition uh, that is four, five, and six number that is uh, belongs to free composition there. And seven, uh, seven question number seven will be grammar there. That is 10 marks from the grammar and eight number will be vocabulary there. Uh, so uh, it is a uh, best one vocabulary aspect here. Some option will be given there. You still have to go through the option. That is all about this. Uh, dear Eastern, have to choose the correct option. Uh, well, that is all about this course, grade 11 English curriculum, new English curriculum. I hope everybody will like this video. Don't forget to see or like and subscribe this channel. That always make me motivated to make such kind of video in the days to come. I like to end the video here. Hope to meet you all in the next video with another interesting lesson and interesting fact till then goodbye take care